Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing about Tipco Spotify. So it's a data visualization tool, and uh, we'll be looking at like how it is useful, and uh, what all we'll be working on. And here, like, uh, and this is about the trainer. So I've been working on different technologies for in IT industry for uh, ten plus years, and on Spotify, I have been working for more than nine years now. And uh, other than this Spotify, I work on these technologies like Tableau, Power BI, Looker, Alteryx, AWS, and Azure. So I've been giving training for now last eight years. I have trained a lot of people. I will leave, I have more than 500 plus people. I have trained in all these technologies. And uh, the scope of this uh, demo will be basically uh, based on uh, development and administration. So we'll be discussing about, so there are two different courses, development and administration, so that will be separate. So based on your requirement, we'll be doing it uh, that way. So one will be spot for development, another will be administration. So under development, we'll be uh, checking and we'll be learning about how to develop reports, how to load data, how to work on all the functionalities of Spotify. And under administration, uh, that becomes like more on the admission side, you know that. So basically, it will be working on like installation and configuration of the whole environment, how to manage that, all that stuff. So that will be part of administration. Course outline and all that you must be having. So after the course, we'll be having one uh, project. So it will be kind of a sample project. So that way you will understand that what kind of uh, real time projects you will be working on and uh, what kind of uh, real kind of requirements you will be getting in case you are starting your projects. So that is also part of our day to day sessions, like whenever we'll be having our uh, regular sessions. So I'll help you understand like where uh, that uh, for every kind of topic that what kind of uh, requirements will come uh, in your way means like what kind of expectations will be there from the end users what they will ask you that do this do that i want this kind of chart i want this kind of report so these are the things like which users will keep on asking you so th that all will be part of our courses and the regular sessions certifications and all these are the certifications which you can access through a spotify portal so here like you have two certifications one is Spotify analyst certification and Spotify professional certification I'm all certified in this and uh, along with this like uh, Tableau, Power BI, all uh, AWS so all the certifications I have done so just focus on like learning like whatever you have other than this you will be given course complete certification so that is just for your uh, learning and attending this course but if you want to go for jobs and all that, then you have to go for these certifications and these require a lot of practice and uh, dedication. So make sure to do that. So let's go ahead and then uh, load data in our Spotify environment. And then we will see that how things are done in the real time. So this is Spotify uh, environment. So here you can see that this is Spotify analyst, which we'll be working on. So here let's load the data first. So I'll just load some data. So this is the data I'm loading. So this is an Excel file. Here you see that I have multiple files, multiple sheets in the Excel workbook, orders, returns, and people. So I'll say orders for now, and I'll say okay. So this is how your data will be loaded. So I'm doing loading data only from Excel, but in real time sessions, like uh, we'll be working on database, <coughs> multiple tables, views, and all that stuff. So this is how the data is loaded. Uh, <clears throat> the screen turns into the dark because I have used the dark theme. So these are the themes which you can see as for your requirement. So if you don't want to do that, then you can have this dark, light theme like this. So now let's say data is loaded. Here you see I have 9,994 records, zero mark, 21 columns. So here this way, uh, I have this table. Okay, so this table is loaded. Now I want to create the visualizations. Now I want to create visualizations. I want to create a report and all that stuff. So for that, like based on the requirement, I'll be doing that. So my users want to see something like, okay, they wanted to see a sales by region uh, chart and all. Okay, so here I got a chart. So I just clicked on these three uh, bars. This is the icon. So here we have the option to add open files and load data. 
second is data in analysis third is visualizations these are the functions advanced functionalities okay and here on the left hand side we have the canvas so this is how it will work so this is like uh, a bar chart and you know what is a bar chart if not like we'll be dis discussing this thing in detail so here i have properties so i can just edit and modify the properties of this so here you see that i have this y axis this is x axis category axis i'll change it from here okay and i will make it as region okay and the value axis nothing but the y axis and i use it as sales other than this what all i can do i can do a lot of other things let's say i'll say labels okay i'll say all since i'm not having bar segments i i can uncheck this if i have bar segments then i'll use that so i'll show you what, where i'll be using that other than this i can change the formatting i just want to see the sales as a currency okay so here i can make it as any of the currencies okay short number format okay if i want to and decimal places two okay and if i want to make it in uh yeah, usd and all then i can select any of the currencies it's all up to me okay so as per the requirement you might be working for a european client you might be working for a us client and if you are uh, so that way like you can select any of the currencies as per your requirement okay so i got this one here okay and uh, other than this now like let's say that your users wanted to see something like sales by region other than this they want to see the product so what i'll do i'll go to color by and i'll use the uh, product <coughs> category now it became a stack bar chart so it became a stack bar chart so now you can see that uh, for every region so this is central east south and west for every region for central is a total sales was 501000 okay 501000 now this 501000 is divided in three different products furniture office supplies and technology like this way so here we have 160000 that is for furniture and 167000 that is for office supplies and 170000 for technology like this so same thing is for everyone now along, along with this users want to see okay let this is sales for region i want to see for states also so what i'll do i'll just right click here and i'll say duplicate visualization for now okay so here you see that i got a duplicate visualization so i don't need to recreate the same thing again and again so here instead of region i will say state okay i'll say save and let me remove this for now so here we got all these things okay now uh, if you see i got all the states but what i want my users want to see something like whenever they select so if you see here i have selected east region and uh, i have selected for furniture so east region furniture so out of these many bars for states you see i got only few of the bars highlighted few of the bars are highlighted when i select this one here you see only these are highlighted Okay, because these are highlighted only for the east one it is not showing me only for furniture or only for software supplies or only for technology these are all bars which are highlighted is showing it for east when i say south it shows me all for south region like all the states which are for south here you can see that like alabama okay here we are Kansas and this florida georgia these are all southern states if you see here when i say west okay i'll see all the bars which are from uh, west region okay so here we have arizona california okay colorado so like this we have all these washington so all the states of where but what i want my user says that show me only that which is getting selected here only that don't show me others that is one of the most important real-time functionality which you will be doing in almost all the reports so this is one thing which is very very common and very important requirement also so what i'll do i'll just go here in the properties okay in the data and i will use limit data using marking so i'll select this one okay and under that you have option to show a empty visualization or all data or message on background that's your choice i'll say all data for now now when i say uh, 
east region if you notice earlier i was getting all the bars highlighted for the east region but now let's see what happens i selected furniture here you see it is showing me only these bars okay the emitted bars only for furniture and that too only for east region here you see for east region 208 if you submit all these values it will become only 208 only 208000 so it means it is showing me the sales of only 200 it is showing me the sales of only for east region and uh, only for furniture and when i click on this one here you see the values and all that will change now it is only showing me the sales of east region for office supplies so this way now whatever you select based on that the values will be this is called limit data using marking okay so based on that this is very important functionality and when you have not selected anything it will show you it will show you all the data so this is our very very uh, important kind of requirement now this is like parent visualization this will be called as a child visualization you can move from here to another visualization also so that is again a different option so i'll say create details visualization and i'll say a pie chart so here uh, i got a pie chart okay sector size by sales and color by let's say segment okay i got this one now when i click on this i'll get this kind of thing also okay so for that let me just create a new marking <coughs> So I just created a new marking here, and uh, I'll use this one, and I'll say all data. Okay. So now here you see that we are getting all the data. So it says consumer, corporate, home office. Okay. So marking and uh, limiting marking. I can check this one also. So here you see now when I select this thing, any of these uh, regions here. So let's say I have selected West region and California. So California uh, sales is one hundred and fifty six thousand. So total sales for West region under furniture is two fifty two, uh, and this two fifty two is divided like this. Now I want to see that how the things are going on California. So what I'll do, I'll just click on California, and here you see. So out of California. Here you see out of California, I'm getting this is how the things are coming for California. So here you see highest is coming from consumer segment, second highest is coming from corporate segment, and least is coming from the home office one. And you can even show the values also. It's your choice what all you want to show. I'll say sector values also. Here you are. So here you see seventy six thousand. Now if I select any, let's say Washington, it will be changed. All that will be changed here. You see. I'll say Oregon. I'll say Colorado. Okay, so like this, it will change. So here you see, highest is coming from corporate one. So this is how like the real time requirement looks like. So this is just a brief idea that how the <coughs> things will work. On the right hand side, we have the filter panel. So that filter panel will be able to help you to filter the data, drill down the data. So you can uh, apply filters for any of the requirements, any of uh, your uh, based on your requirement. You can apply the filters and <clears throat> you can limit the data. Okay, it's your choice. <clears throat> Going to reset the filters, you can do it. Obviously, in real time projects, you will not be showing all the all the filters the way you have here. So it will not be shown all like this. You have to show only the few ones means as per the requirement. So you will limit it here. Okay, so right now, let's say right click. <clears throat> Organize filters. Let's say hide all in table. I'll say segment, country, city, state, region. So like this, I want to show only few of the filters. So here you can just click on that, and here you see you are showing only few filters. No more filters are showing up here. So here you see. I'll reset. Just click on this small icon. Reset visual filters, and all the filters will be reset. Whatever you have applied. So this is how like uh, it works in the real time. So uh, we'll be looking more on the, the Excel sessions. So that's all from my side.
Thank you very much.